lot of cars roll through Minturn near Vale, but it's been a long time since trains rolled along these tracks in town. I think it's been since the late 90s, 1997, I believe. Something Sarah Cassidy with the Colorado Midland and Pacific Railway Company says could be changing. With the community's interest, there's a possibility for trains to run again. With the company getting input from towns along the Tennessee Pass rail line to put trains back on the tracks. Four, it covers four counties. Between Eagle. Parkdale and Sage, or roughly between Canyon City and Gypsum. Sage is um, just beyond the town of Eagle, between Eagle and Gypsum, and Parkdale is just west of Canyon City. And so the idea is to eventually have trains running on 160 miles of track. That will carry passengers and some commercial freight. There's a great chance for um, commuter and passenger rail uh, to serve this area again. Passenger travel for employees heading to work or people looking to ski or go on vacations. There's a lot of talk about congestion on roadways and, um, you know, workforce housing and connecting all of these things. But getting trains on these tracks is still a ways down the line. And a number of communities. And Sarah says we'll take some time and work with mountain towns like Minturn before they get rail service back on track in these mountains. Our first phase is really just listening to the communities. So this is still in the early phases of all of this process, and we don't yet know what kind of goods would be transported on these trains. That is a bit of concern. Some thought maybe oil, but the uh, train company says they're not going to be carrying oil, and that is a concern. Back in 96, the train along the Tennessee Pass rail line near Camp Hale derailed, and that spilled sulfuric acid on the hillside. So mountain communities have some concern with what will be carried on those trains, and there's been some development along these tracks that wasn't there back when trains were running. So a lot still to be discussed, but Natasha, the rail company says they're going to spend the next few months working with communities and could have a better idea in the spring of what sort of timetable they have for putting trains back on these tracks after that. You know, understandable concerns, but what a brilliant idea. I mean, the traffic alone is enough to want to take a train to head out west. What a cool idea. I hope it does go through, you know, sooner rather than later. Matt Renew, thank you.